ExxonMobil is a global oil and gas company based in the United States. It was founded in New Jersey. The company is in the business of making and looking for crude oil, oil products, natural gas, petroleum products, and power. The company was made when the Standard Oil Company of New Jersey and the Exxon and Mobil Companies of New York, both of which were started by John D. Rockefeller, joined forces. ExxonMobil has a strong market position and has always been one of the five biggest companies in the United States based on total revenue. It is one of the big oil companies and the biggest refinery in the world. It works in most countries and has looked for oil and natural gas in every region. As of 2015, Exxon had 23 plants in 14 different countries and could produce 136,000 barrels of oil per day. Let's take a better look at ExxonMobil's great marketing plans and see how they do it. Targeting, Segmenting, and Positioning ExxonMobil's goal customers are people and businesses that own vehicles and machines like large plants for production, whether for personal use or for business. They are going after machines and cars that use oil. ExxonMobil has been able to target people who drive cars that run on gasoline. Based on the people in their target market, they want to sell their goods to high-class and middle-class families and people between the ages of 18 and 60. They have set themselves up as a business that is open to new ideas and is quickly moving into other industries. They are best known for wanting to provide clean energy that is good for the environment. Marketing Campaigns The brand asked the comic and her mother, Jenny Poulos, to talk about the funny parts of juggling every day. Poulos and ExxonMobil worked together to make three films for the campaign. These videos include a monologue from the driver's seat, real moms and dads getting caught at the gas pump and talking about how they plan their days, and a Jenny Pulo-style rap about gas. ExxonMobil says that the marketing videos were based on a national survey in the United States that showed how busy schedules can be funny and how important fuel economy is to give time back. Can you answer this question? What is ExxonMobil's primary business focus? Write the answers in the comment section below. The most important study results were, most parents have quietly wished they were stuck in traffic so they could be alone for a few minutes. More than 22% have let their kids eat candy for breakfast so they could leave on time. About 28% of parents have helped their kids with their homework or school projects so they could go to bed on their own. 72% of parents have told their kids a little white lie to get them to do something, and 18% do it every week or every day. 69% of parents would take a nap in a soundproof room if they had five extra minutes in the day, while 24% would grab a slice of pizza and eat it all by themselves. ExxonMobil also ran a social influencer campaign on YouTube, which according to a statement from the company in charge of the effort, Mastermind Marketing, got about 1 million users to interact with it. The energy giant wanted to get the word out about its SpeedPass Plus mobile app and encourage people to sign up for the ExxonMobil Smart Card, which is a Citibank credit card that it works in the app. Influencers with automotive or text channels on YouTube, Google's video sharing site with 1.8 billion users worldwide, were needed for the promotion. A trusted influencer showing off the SpeedPass Plus app in a movie was a good way to show how it works and what it can do. The ExxonMobil Rewards Program works with the SpeedPass Plus app, which lets people pay for gas with a linked credit card, Apple Pay, or Samsung Pay. Buyers can use the app to sign up for an ExxonMobil smart card. ExxonMobil's promotion for its SpeedPass Plus mobile app and payment card shows how a brand can reach its target audience by choosing social influencers who have built up a fan base. It also shows that the impact of influencer marketing is growing. Often, fashion, beauty, and cooking influencers have been the focus of influencer marketing. In the case of ExxonMobil, the effort was aimed at YouTube viewers who watched automotive and technology vlogs. ExxonMobil has started a new promotion in India called Pucha Kyanahi. It features Bollywood and TV stars Jave Jaffrey and Chaitanya Sharma, also known as the rapper Slow Cheetah from the movie Gully Boy. Pucha Kyanahi is a catchy video campaign that makes people aware that they should ask questions about the right engine oil.
The video starts with a strange rap fight between Jave Jaffrey, who is playing a mechanic, and Slow Cheetah. Jaffrey is trying to get Slow Cheetah to ask questions about the right engine oil and being aware of what is being used in the car. Marketing on social media. ExxonMobil is very involved on social media, where they have a presence. On different sites like LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, with over 3 million and 2.6 million followers on Facebook and LinkedIn, respectively, where most of its audience is. Most of the time, they post about their current and future projects and activities to promote them and keep their audience up to date on what they need to know. SEO Strategies SEO rating says that less than 500 keywords is bad, more than 1,000 is good, and more than 10,000 is amazing. We can see that corporate.exxonmobil.com has 79,628 native keywords that, that people say are great. So it means that ExxonMobil's digital marketing is at its best and that they have learned a lot. We also see that its monthly traffic is more than 870,000, which is a very good number. This means that ExxonMobil is very good at its SEO strategies and just needs to keep up with the times to stay on top. Marketing with influencers. ExxonMobil has signed deals and worked with a lot of influencers through its marketing campaigns and other means, like when it's promoting the SpeedPass Plus mobile app. Because of this, they've been able to get influencers with a large following of over 200 members, which gives them more fame and boosts their brands in every country. Strategies for e-commerce. ExxonMobil has its own online store where it sells a variety of goods. It also sells on other online stores like Amazon, Alibaba, and AliExpress. They are trying to get into the e-commerce market by making plastic polythene bags that are good for the earth. Content marketing strategies. They are busy on social media and their website, where they always give information and keep their audience up to date with great content and job openings in the company from different places. They also show up in well-known publications like the New York Times, Bloomberg, and the Wall Street Journal which talk about their stock price and how the market is doing. This ends with a long description of ExxonMobil's marketing plan. Let's sum up what we've learned about ExxonMobil's marketing approach. Conclusion, what's unique in ExxonMobil marketing? We were able to figure out from ExxonMobil's marketing plan that their services and mind-blowing innovations to keep up with trends are what make them stand out. Also, their brand is very strong and both on social media and on their website, they have a lot of fans.